Hey guys, if you are playing F1 Mobile Racing and you still have not turned off your assist, you are making a big mistake. In today's video, I will be showing you just how much assist can slow you down. Before we begin, remember to subscribe to this channel if you would like to see more similar content and I will be posting up more videos on how you can get faster at F1 Mobile Racing. Now let's get right to it. Now, I will be doing two qualifying laps, one with assist and one without assist, to show you the big difference in the lap times. So this is going to be my run with assist and you will see how we do in this lap. As you will notice in the first turn, the braking assist make us break way too heavily into the first turn and we actually lost quite a bit of time to the AI up ahead. Into the second turn as well, the braking assist forces us to break so lately that we are unable to get any closer to the AI. The further we get into this lab, the further we also get away from the AI ahead of us. Now this really shows you how much time the assist is making us lose. Now you will notice that it is only after this chicane that we are able to gain some time on the AI ahead but even so, we are still very far behind the first AI. So the lap time for this qualifying lap will be 1 minute and 30 seconds and so now we will be going on a qualifying lap without assist and I will show you the big difference between the lap times. So right now we will be starting our lap without assist. You will notice that in the very first corner, we are able to make such a big difference with the late braking without the brake assist. Without the brake assist, we were able to cut through the AI so fast, so easily, just into the very first corner. Now, even up to the second corner, we are able to maintain our lead ahead of the AI by a very big distance. Fast forwarding through the lab, you will notice that our distance between the AI has gotten much bigger and if you look at the top left corner, you can see that we are now about 3 seconds ahead of the last AI. And so wrapping up this qualifying lap, we are able to finish this lap with a lap time of 1 minute and 26 seconds and a half. Now that is much faster than the very first qualifying lap we did with assist. We were able to drive 3 seconds faster to the lap with assist. So you can clearly see how the assist is able to slow down my speed by so much. So I hope that for whoever that is watching this video and still has their assist on for F1 Mobile Racing, I hope that today's video has managed to convince you to off your assist and start relying on better braking skills and better steering skills. Not to worry, in subsequent episodes, I will be teaching you how to brake better and steer better to beat your opponents. With that, we have come to the end of today's episode. Now I hope you enjoyed watching this video, like and subscribe to my channel and I'll be posting more videos on the techniques that will help you to get better at F1 Mobile Racing. Leave a comment below if you would like to see any content related to this and I'll see you next time.